to section 4.2. Before you read this section, I have a recommendation. You should read the UMD Berg Nexus Projects article on the idea of object egotism. Read that before beginning section 4.2. This is a fundamental idea about Newton's laws that I believe the OpenStax textbook kind of skims over a little bit quickly. The basic idea of object egotism is that objects only respond to the forces that are acting on them at a particular instant. They don't have any kind of memory. So read the article from the UMD Berg Nexus Project and then come back and read section 4.2. Now let's go through section 4.2 which begins with Newton's laws, which will be one of the fundamental ideas of this class. First, you have a nice statement of Newton's first law. This is a key law for the course. And essentially, it means that if there are no forces, the motion will not change. So I would pay careful attention to this section. The next part of section 4.2 is a little subsection on mass. Now, you all probably have some basic understanding of what mass is. It's a measurement of the amount of stuff. As we discussed in class, if I go to the moon, my mass doesn't change, unlike my weight, which would change if I went to the moon, because weight is a measure of how strong the force of gravity pulls down on me. That is sufficient understanding for this point. We'll get more into the distinctions between mass and weight later, so just what we've talked about in class is enough for this. So if you're comfortable with what we talked about in class, you can skip this section. 